All right, what's up, guys? Pleasant here. So, real quick, I've got to do something I forgot to do in uh, yesterday's video. So, this video's gonna be a little bit longer by accident. Um, so this next video I'm gonna show is actually from um, when I was working at Apple. Um, we had to go to the parking garage, the underneath parking garage. It wasn't anything special. It was literally like, if you come to the visitor center, but this time it's like, if you work here, um, this is where you had to park today. Um, uh, we were down there. And this parking garage reminded me of some shit out of Resident Evil where you wouldn't want to be down there because you expect zombies to pour out of every fun corner. Um, I forgot to add this into yesterday's video for um, for my weekly recap, but I talked about it. But I'm going to add it into this video. So this next clip, it's like a six-second clip. That's just the parking garage. It's like super creepy and being down there. I'm like, yeah, this is creepy as fuck. I feel sorry for whoever has to be down here because those lights only activate where you walk. So if you don't walk into the dark areas to the side, it's going to stay permanently dark. And then it's not even if you walk. It's like some those beginning lights that are on where we're at, they activate by people walking. The other lights to the side only activate when a car comes by. So there are people down there who had to work there from like fucking all the way from five in the morning up until the end of the event who were probably in complete darkness until a car came by. So I feel bad for them, but... I couldn't do anything. I couldn't be down there and tell Ronnie, be like, hey, put me down there. Put someone else on there. No, it's like, he chose people to be there. So there wasn't much I could do. I could only go hang out with them if I had the time, which I didn't, unfortunately. But yeah, that's what this next clip is. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here. We're back from the episode of Quick Play today. This It's already... So let's talk about this. It is already... um. 2.30? It's 2.39, about to be 2.40, okay? We are super late on this video, unfortunately. Um, What did he drop? Let's change mass to... Yeah, I'm super late. I've had a day of running around, having to run errands. First off, we had no water, so um, I had to go fill up on our five-gallon uh, waters. You know, that's pretty much all we drink around here is just water, so it's like, okay, I can't, you know, I can't just let the water, you know, stay low. So I had to go replenish it. Um... Wow, they're running silencers on their fucking gun, on their Segas. That's kind of crazy. Sound Segas plus what? Wait, it was a Sound Sega with what else? Um, what the fuck is this setup, dude? Wow, that's a strange setup, honestly. That's so weird. Why would they run that setup? What the hell? Okay, whatever. It's their setup, not mine. Um, yeah, so this video's coming out late. I had to go grab water. I had to go run a bunch of errands and I had to cut the yard. Um, cause now it's starting to rain. So I was like, okay, thank God I went and did the yard and everything. Um, this video is coming up late. Unfortunately, tomorrow's video will not. Tomorrow's video will be up on time, which is great. You know, always love having my videos up on time. But like I've said, this also isn't a job. So if my video is a little late, I'm sorry, guys. You know, I have other things to do. You know, I'm not getting paid to do this, these videos. So if I was, I would prioritize these videos more. But fortunately, I'm not. So I'm only doing them as best as I can. Um, but the main point of today's video is intros. Why certain videos have intros and why others don't. Um, if you guys know, it's like Resident Evil usually has videos. Um, what else usually has an in or Resident Evil usually has an intro. There's a few other shows that usually have intros, but it's not always a hundred percent set thing as to if we're gonna get an intro or not. Um, last time we killed him. Let's just knock him out this time. I, you know, uh, yeah, last time we killed the dude. Let's just knock him out this time. Whatever. But not every video has an intro. Um, it might just be, uh, certain videos, like, okay, if you guys don't know, I sit down and record, uh, multiple videos in a day, I try to always record multiple videos, I don't try to record just one video and be done, I only usually do that on Saturdays with Sunset, but usually when I sit down to do, uh, recording, I try to sit down and marathon my recordings to have them all done for the week, so today's Monday, um, today I'll be recording this video and tomorrow's video, um, so the first video that I sit down and record would usually have an intro just to make sure that the audio is working. Um, here on the Elgato, like I'm using right now, I could see the audio levels uh, rise and lower when I talk. Um, and usually that's what will make me, um, you know, just to check that the audio is working, I'll say some stuff. It might be me singing. It might be me saying some stupid things, you know, that would lead to an intro if I find it's worth it. Today, I would just... All I said today to start the video was Blueface Baby. Yeah, I, because I was listening to a Blueface song. I was listening to the West Coast with YG, Blueface, All Black, and G-Eazy. So that was just stuck in my head. Just Blueface, yeah, I, that's it. That's not really worth an intro. It's super stupid, but it's just to check that the audio works. Um, funny intros will happen like 
Friday's video for Resident Evil where I said dummy dick is now playing GTA 5. That wasn't planned at all. It just I literally was recording and I saw my friend whose name I guess is dummy dick now happened to you know be playing GTA 5 and it popped up. I never noticed that till that second. Now I'm like, oh my god. And I said the dummy dick thing, the Sarge, I'm trying to sneak around, but I but I'm dummy dick and the uh clap for my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. I literally just said that because I was thinking of dummy dick. I didn't sit there and think, hey, this will make a great intro because it could have been hit or miss, honestly, whether it would have been funny or not. Um, I literally said that in the moment and continued on with my recording, and I forgot that that even existed. So, you know, as I was as I was um, editing and rendering my video, I saw that scene again, and it made me laugh because I just completely forgot. It just went out of my mind as soon as it was done. So I saw that, and it made me laugh. I'm like, you know what? This might be a good intro. But this also leads into why I don't try to force an intro. Because usually, um, how do we knock them out? Oh, shit. I meant to knock out shit. My bad. We're not going to replay that. Fuck that. Whatever. He's dead. I was a square is a knockout. I would have, I don't know. I thought rice stick. I saw rice stick to kill and I accidentally misread it as knockout. Oops. So 100% my bad. But yeah, like intros, I don't try to do anything funny for intros because, you know, I feel if I were to force my comedy, people would know it's forced and it wouldn't have the same effect as where if the comedy just comes natural. All right, sweet. That's amazing. That's beautiful. You know, it gives me a good intro. But if I have to force the comedy to be out there, it's kind of like, nah, dude, it's not going to work because you guys will know when I try to force comedy, you know, intros just happen. I don't plan it out. I really don't come into a recording into a recording and think, hey, I need an intro. No, I don't really care if I have an intro or not. If I have something good and natural, it's an intro beautiful perfect that's what i want but i'm not here to sit down and think oh what can i say or what can i do to make this funny because i'm saying it's just it wouldn't be right it just wouldn't be natural and um let's see like on the topic of intros like um i do eventually want to change my intro the poison i would love to change this to something car related um i still don't know what i want to do um my S60R could do donuts. I would love to record a video of me doing a perfect donut and having that as an intro. But as of right now, I just don't have an official intro yet. I just stick with that poison with the hell girl um thing. What the hell? What did he give me? Yeah, like that hell girl intro will eventually be changed. I just need to figure out something good to do. And then an outro. Um, I've talked about it before also, I would love to do an outro. I would love to do an outro kind of like on the sense of Evan Shanks or, um, other car YouTubers where it's just a picture of their car and then it has the channel. Um, it has links to other videos. Oh, fuck. You know, I would love to do that eventually. I just, you know, haven't sat down to do anything like related to that. Oh, sweet. We have some supplies here. You know, eventually there will be a real outro. There will be a real intro. Oh, we went back in time, I guess. Or he's giving us memories. But, yeah, intros, I'm saying, those little funny intros, they're not planned at all. They're just something I say in the moment. And I'll look back at it. If it's actually worth it, I keep it in the video. If it's not, I just feel it's complete shit. I delete it. You guys never see it. There's multiple times where I'll just sit there and I'll say stuff that, like, you know, people may think, oh, that's worth an intro, but it's really just not, you know? And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, since I'm recording this video, I'm going to record another video. I just need to record the first video to make sure that all the recordings work. And then as soon as I see all the recordings work... That's when I could be like, okay, I don't need to do anything else for an intro or I don't need to mess around with the audio. I just need to, you know, start recording. So, yeah, that pretty much explains it. I know Punisher really liked the dummy dick intro. He said it was funny. Um, there's been the ones where I say, like, autistic shit um, or stupid shit, realistically, but I call it autism or whatever. There's a lot of, like, stupid things that just happen that, you know, aren't planned. It's just, like... Really, I felt so bad for doing my autism powers activate. That one was really bad. I will not lie. That was a really bad thing to do. Still did it anyways just to go with it. But, you know, they're never really planned. It's just more of a, hey, we're in the moment type situation. Okay, we need the key. We saw two minutes. Okay. You know, just, I just want you guys to know that's just how it goes. I don't really try to do anything funny. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, shit. That red kind of scared me. Oh, sweet. There it is. 
You know, because usually when you see red, it's a key, and then we just have a hole. We've never seen anything red like that, except for in, like, human areas. And then we're here in the dead city, and we just have that. We already have max claymores and bombs. You know, and I feel people do get upset with my, like, autism jokes. It's like, I, I don't try to sugarcoat how I talk. This is how I talk in real life, too. You know, I just... If I wasn't doing this... Oh, what the fuck? Didn't someone kill themselves? You know, this is how I talk in real life. This is how I talk amongst my friends. It's just how I am, you know? And then I decide, hey, I'm going to channel this into YouTube. I don't try to change what I say or what I do on YouTube, to be completely honest. Um, if anything, I kind of censor myself more on YouTube than I do in real life. Straight up real life, I'm a fucking asshole, dude. I do not give a fuck what I say. I talk loud. I talk hella ignorant. I say stupid, fucked up shit on purpose. Just to get reactions out of people. It's like, okay, we're either going to square up or you're going to fucking be a bitch about it, you know? But... but yeah, like I'm saying, more like on YouTube, I censor myself way more than I do in real life. In real life, my little sister knows this, my friends know this. Real life, I'm a straight up asshole. I'm hella ignorant. I truly do not give a fuck. It's just more on YouTube. It's like, okay. Like, I know in real life, there's more to lose, like my life, if someone gets really mad. But I just feel like YouTube, where I've built up the channel, it's kind of like, oh, I don't want to risk losing what I've worked for. Well, I'm saying, in real life, usually people will just get mad. No one really tries to push the topic or push the issue at all. You know, I know eventually someone probably will try to push an issue, but as of right now, I'm still doing what I'm doing. No one is trying to do anything. People just get mad and be like, oh, why would you say that? Well, because I have my First Amendment right, you know, to say whatever the fuck I want. But as we'll end it here, First Amendment doesn't really protect you from anything. Um, First Amendment only protects you from the cops. Let me... Uh, or, if you guys want to know more about the First Amendment, I will talk about it tomorrow because I'm going to keep recording anyways. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.